With more than 60 years of manufacturing and engineering experience, we use the technology and expertise employed by our sister companies to engineer, design, and build the world's most technologically advanced industrial engines, generators, and pumps. As the industry's first and only manufacturer of small chain driven overhead cam engines, we lead the industry with the technology customers want. You wouldn't accept anything other than overhead cam engines in your car. Why would you settle for anything less in your equipment? From advanced chain driven overhead cam to the industry's first commercial grade snowblower engine and a line of small engines featuring electronic fuel injection. If you can imagine it, Subaru is building it. We know an engine is only as good as the company that stands behind it. That's why our service and support after the sale is unmatched in the industry. Offering the industry's first three-year warranty, we stand behind our product, whether it's being used in consumer or commercial operations. And our warranty is more than a piece of paper to line your birdcage. It's a commitment to the customer and the partnership we've forged. The tie always goes to the customer. You can't say that about our competitors. Isn't it time you insist on Subaru and put your business on the fast track to success? This tutorial shows the procedure for removal and installation of the cylinder head on Robin Subaru chain-driven overhead cam EX engines without removing the main bearing cover and attached load. An example of this would be a generator or pump end that is attached to the PTO side of the engine. To maintain safety during any service procedure, always pull the spark plug lead and make sure that the start-stop switch is in the off position before beginning. This ensures the engine will not accidentally start when rotating the engine to find top dead center. Remove the valve cover. Rotate the engine to find top dead center. Look for the hash mark stamped in the, into the cam gear. Mark both the chain and top dead center. Punch marks with white marking paint. Pull the valve rocker arm retainer pin. Next, remove the cam pin locking bolt and remove the pin with a pliers while holding onto the cam gear with the other hand. Remove the chain from the cam gear and pull out the cam gear. Place the chain retention tool, coat hanger, into the chain and put tension on and set it down. Remove the cylinder head bolts. When removing the cylinder head, grab the chain retention tool with one hand while holding the cylinder head with the other. Keeping tension on the chain and tool, slide the cylinder head over the tool while removing the cylinder head. Lay the tool and chain down. Now the cylinder head can be serviced as necessary. When reassembling, slip the chain and tool back to the cylinder head in reverse order. When reinstalling, lightly oil the cylinder head bolts and tighten with a torque wrench in the order specified in the service manual. Next, reinstall the cam gear into the chain, noting the paint marks for realignment. Removing the chain retention tool, slip the chain over the cam gear. Watching the marks to make sure they line up the two paint marks. Next, install the cam gear pin while holding the cam with one hand and inserting the pin with the other. Reinstall the cam pin locking bolt as well. Reinstall the valve rocker arms and retention pin. Recheck for top dead center alignment and check valve clearance for specifications and owners or service manual. Install other components replacing with new gaskets as necessary.